Hello and welcome. I'm Mark Reed, an admissions tutor within the School of Chemistry at the University of Birmingham. Today's webinar is aimed at our chemistry applicants to explain where a chemistry degree can take you and provide information on the industrial placement scheme that we offer. You've chosen to read for a chemistry degree, but have you thought of the possible career opportunities after graduation? A chemistry degree is highly valued by employers and with your transferable skills can lead to a variety of career opportunities. In the next few slides, I'm going to give an overview of the importance of chemistry and the many facets of the chemical industry. Finally, I'll discuss industrial placement opportunities, links that our department has with the industry and also the associated benefits. Chemical knowledge and training is important to industries in many countries, if not all. A recent UK Science Council workforce report highlighted the projected increase of people employed in science-based roles. Key growth areas requiring these roles include advanced manufacturing. For example, metals are the fastest growing area of 3D printing. The growth of additive manufacturing and low-cost metal powders are key enablers transforming industrial production, making intricate components and pipes without welds. The low carbon economy. We'll cover the decarbonizing of energy production later and the current technologies employed to achieve this goal. And also life sciences and pharmaceuticals. Current events highlight the importance of this area. Even so, how do we keep an aging population healthy and combat emerging healthcare issues and diseases? All of these areas rely heavily on the skills of chemists. Reliance on chemists by so many areas is unsurprising since chemistry is the central science and forms collaborative links with many other disciplines. For example, medicine and life sciences for healthcare and physics, materials and engineering for the low carbon economy. As in many other countries, the chemical industry is important financially and a large employer. It comprises several sectors, which include the following list and will now be discussed in further detail. You may recognize some of these pharmaceutical brand names with an aging population to keep healthy and emerging new diseases and healthcare issues. The pharmaceutical industry develops new, more effective formulations with fewer side effects. You can see here in the middle a computer simulation. Indeed, computational chemistry is instrumental in drug discovery and identifying how drug works at the atomic level. An area that we all take for granted addresses the question of how we feed a growing world population. The companies here may not be as visible in advertising as the pharmaceutical companies, but play an important role in providing nutrients to maximize crop yield and controlling pests and disease whilst being mindful of the food chain and contaminating groundwater. You don't always have to work for a large corporate company though. Chemists find opportunities in small and medium sized enterprises. The example shown here specialise in niche approaches and services which, when successful, are sold to larger pharmaceutical companies for scale-up and eventual mass production. Most people's perception of the petroleum industry is of large plants which crack and refine crude oil. Most drivers recognise BP and Shell and the association with petrol or diesel for their cars. Whilst this is an important part of the business, there is so much more chemistry involved. Petrochemicals and polymers form the basis of so many of the everyday products that we use, from cosmetics to plastics. As the world moves to decarbonise its energy, there will be less of a reliance of our finite reserves of fossil fuels for energy production and transportation, and instead maximise this valuable resource to maintain production of the many materials that we take for granted each day. Catalysis is an important aspect of many petrochemical processes, enabling them to occur more selectively and economically as well. 
Household names seen in our supermarkets such as Unilever and Procter & Gamble develop and produce products for everyday household use. But have you ever considered the chemistry involved? Formulating a shampoo that produces a lava in hard and soft water areas, detergent to its clean clothes just as well at lower temperatures, saving energy and the environment, and even food such as ice cream that has a pleasant texture when coming out of the freezer and doesn't form ice crystals. There are even perfumes which are synthesised artificially rather than originating from natural products. Some companies specialise in bulk chemicals, supplying specialist glasses, plastics and dyes to other manufacturers. Advanced materials have increased in importance recently. Companies such as Johnson Matthey not only supply pure precious metals, but create catalysts containing specific surface areas of catalytic metals. In our lifetime, we have seen the effect of advanced materials. Computer monitors and televisions have progressed from large and heavy thick glass cathode ray screens to thin plasma and LED screens. In the future, these too will be replaced by thinner, more flexible polymer screens. All of this relies on advanced materials and also the skills of the solid state chemists. The global challenge to decarbonise our energy, producing electricity to match increasing demand whilst limiting emission of greenhouse gases, is one that affects us all, and is also one in which chemists are playing a crucial role. Is there such a thing as pollution-free energy? Well, reducing our reliance on fossil fuels and producing electricity without carbon emissions requires an energy mix where renewables such as solar, wind and tidal are becoming more prominent but with a more reliable and secure supply of next generation nuclear power providing the base load, such as the Rolls-Royce Small Modular Reactor. Storing excess electricity requires advanced battery technology, and electrification of transportation is reliant on both lighter and higher capacity batteries, as well as hydrogen fuel cells. If hydrogen can be produced cleanly and stored safely, this technology will also replace the current combustion engine. But while we are still burning fossil fuels, technology is being developed to capture the carbon, preventing atmospheric release. Well that's an overview of the chemical industry, but what role do chemists have? The majority use their PhD training and continue with research and development to design new products and materials. But others focus on process research, making existing processes more efficient, responsive to change in formulation or legislative restrictions. Analytical chemists play a crucial role in quality assurance and control. And to effectively market products and engage in technical discussions with customers, the knowledge of the chemist is also required in the sales department. Analytical chemists were mentioned previously, but they also have a major role in the public service industry, from detecting heavy metal contamination and environmental emissions, ensuring the drinking quality of our water, quantifying elements in blood samples for hospital patients, to forensically processing a crime scene. In fact, although forensic science degrees are available, analytical chemists are actively preferred. Inspired by their time at university, some chemists share their passion for the subject by teaching in both further and higher education. Not only does the University of Birmingham School of Education qualify students to teach with PGCE courses, but our school provides outreach training and opportunities to experience delivering workshops in schools. We have a supportive relationship with the University of Birmingham School nearby. Here, you can see the then Secretary of State for Education, Nikki Morgan, visiting a spectroscopy workshop that we held for the sixth form chemists. And below is one of our students leading the delivery of a similar workshop. There are also careers that are away from the bench, but not from chemistry. You may not have considered that patent lawyers require a chemistry degree to determine the suitability of patent applications. Some use their numerical skills and computational chemistry in the financial sector. Others harness their passion for communicating chemistry through technical writing and publishing. As our professional body, the Royal Society of Chemistry reminds us, not all chemists wear white coats. 
We've seen the importance of the chemical industry and our chemistry with industrial experience provides the opportunity to experience what it's like to work in these sectors through a year long placement scheme, which occurs in the third year of the four year master's degree. Placements are based both within the UK, Europe and internationally. To help you select a placement, returning students present their experiences and projects and we provide guidance and support with your applications. Here we see some of our former students in their industrial labs and also how our new collaborative teaching laboratory has state-of-the-art scientific equipment to familiarise students with industry standards. Here is a selection of companies that employed our last cohort of placement students. You can see the breadth of the industry, ranging from chocolate manufacturers, pharmaceuticals, petrochemicals and energy companies. The benefits of the industrial placement year are numerous, but most importantly provide excellent experience for the CV when applying for careers after graduation. You also become proficient in state-of-the-art industrial techniques and processes, as well as becoming aware of the many other roles within the company structure. There are financial advantages too. For the year spent away from campus, you pay a significantly reduced student fee whilst earning a salary from the sponsoring company. If the placement is abroad, the opportunity exists to learn or improve another language. Since the placement year is part of the degree program, the project is assessed and counts towards your degree. One of the many reasons why a chemistry degree is valued and chemists very employable is the wealth of transferable skills gained during the degree. Chemistry is a practical subject, either alone or as part of a team, requires careful design of experiments with logical thinking and planning. After experiment or simulation, a large amount of data requires processing. Here, numerical skills are required, often with statistical or visualization software. Results have to be recorded accurately and presented articulately. Written and oral communication skills are vital if the research is to be published and disseminated to a wider audience. These are valuable skills that you will assimilate during the course of your degree and makes you very attractive to potential employers. Because of the importance of the chemical industry, our school forges links and keeps in touch with alumni who often return to give talks and arrange visits, as well as participating in the mentoring programme. Through engagement with our local Royal Society Chemistry Committee, further industrial links are used to arrange sites visits and evening lectures. Thank you for your attention and listening. I hope that you have a greater appreciation now of where a chemistry degree can take you. If you have any further questions, Dr Adrian Wright, our senior admissions tutor, can be reached via the number below. And email responses are made by Adrian, as well as other members of the admissions team. Finally, I'd like to wish you all the very best with your future studies and career. I look forward to welcoming you here at the University of Birmingham School of Chemistry. Goodbye.